What is up, guys? Welcome back. Ta da ta. I have finished the FYP. So, today's video is going to be kind of a hodgepodge of clips from yesterday or the day before. Just showing you guys around what the fence looks like. H and I took a little walk in the pasture last night with the babies. They were absolutely loving it. Every second, even Mr. Snow. For those of you who like to play Where's Waldo with President Snow, I would like to let you know that H and I, as we were walking through the pasture last night, she turns to me and she says, where's President Snow? And I went like this. He's literally right there. She's like, I did not see him. <laughs> ah! <laughs> she was not even kidding and she was not joking around. She was dead serious. She didn't know where he was and she couldn't see him three feet from her. Well, look at you brave ones this morning. Strolling right out there. Good job, babies. Get up in that hay ring. <laughs> so before I cut away and go to previously recorded video, just want to give you guys an update. Struzel's doing good. Good morning, princess. Oh, sorry, you're not princess. I just, I, I... good morning, queen. What's going on? Don't you side eye me, you weenie. Chilling with your homies, little chicky doodles. Yes. <laughs> the amount of diss this goat gives me. <laughs> I'm done. You can proceed. <laughs> Am I not done? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Auntie, 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 get your other side. Hey, can I pet your face? No. <laughs> oh, I see a smile. I see a little smile. I see it. All right. We'll see you in a little bit. So yesterday what we did, guys, with her was two types of dewormer, two different classes. Uh, the red cell, which is, I don't know how to explain red cell best. Helps replace a lot of iron and stuff in their system. Basically helps, helps give them the things that help regenerate red blood cells, I think is how I want to say it. Uh, red cell is, is designed for racehorses and small goats. <laughs> it's not designed for small goats, but it's a very good additive. It's got a lot of vitamins and minerals, iron. Uh, it's just really, really good for them, and it really, really helps pink their eyes back up if you're having issues with FAMACHA. And it's pretty inexpensive as far as quantity. It was like 20 bucks a gallon. I think it's like 30 bucks a gallon now, but... One gallon is, I don't know how many cc's, but she gets three cc's a day, so. We'll keep at it. Gingy and Frosty Mom, I don't think either one of them are gonna make it to their due date. Ticky, come on, babes. They're due Monday, just a few short days from now, and I don't know. I have low expectations that they'll actually make it that far. Frosty's mom's ligaments are softening. She's already uttered up. Genji has been uttered up for a few days. Her ligaments are softening. So we'll see. Uh, I think Genji went pretty much right on time last year within a day or two of her due date. Uh, we don't know about Frosty Mom as we didn't have her when she kitted the 
cutest, greatest baby on the planet, Mr. Ferdinand. For all you guys who don't know, Ferd Ferdinand actually has a fan page called Ferdy Fans. It's on Facebook. F-E-R-D-I-F-A-N-S. Ferdy Fans. <sighs> Stop feeding that low fat baby. <laughs> the babies have not ventured out into the pasture. They went as far as oh, Miss Cookie's laying on the bridge down there. You want to see what Miss Cookie does when it's anti-cookie season? Now they're going to run away. They move fast. You guys know that. But... You know, Auntie Cookie has never had babies of her own, but she does, in fact, enjoy the babies in the spring. And she'll sit with them, because right now she's just sunbathing. Girl, I'm not going to mess with you, baby. I don't want you to get up. Don't get an attitude, though. I see you're smiling. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a weenie. You're such a weenie. But the babies were out here trying to climb on her. And she didn't mind. She got a little grumpy towards the end. Yeah, that's Miss Cookie. Loving them babies. Uh, the babies went about to here. And then they freaked out and ran back. <laughs> Which is good. I'm not ready for them to be ready for pasturing at this point so so i mean the girls had a blast last night guys and they love it and again i want to thank everybody again who sent us fence rolls so we could knock this out really fast and uh the girls definitely thank you and this cookie i think that says it all <laughs> what's up you bunch of heifers hey I'm opening this gate. Nothing. About to pop. About to pop. Really about to pop. Hey, goats. Oh, somebody had mentioned Mississippi. <sighs> She's even gaping. Baby, you're okay. Honey. Yeah. She looking like a house. Where's them babies? <laughs> Taking baby death naps. I thought you were in a full death nap, Frappuccino. You're just sideways. You got your head up at least. Why are you side eyeing me? All right, we'll do this the hard way. I don't know how else to express. Food train your goats. <laughs> What's up, heifers? You gotta let me through, though, babies. I'm, gonna, I'm interested to see if they stop right at the gate. I'm trying to get turned around, but I don't want to fall over top of someone. All right, that's it. No more foods. Plenty of grass. Babies are asleep, so that's good. Nice girls. Yeah, we've got a good six to eight inches of growth out here, so. <laughs> and they are wasting no time. Yeah, the, yeah, you can see the sticker bushes are already starting to bloom. They'll be the first thing out. And then you see this cane from last year. Because what they'll do, I don't want these in my pasture. The girls love them, but I don't want them in here. They just, they just wreak havoc. But what they'll do is they'll strip the leaves off. They'll eat all just the leaves. And then it will keep the plant from photosynthesizing. And it won't grow. But anyway... Ah, oh, Marmar, you made it, buddy. He might have had access to this last year. I'm sure he would have as a baby. Oh, y'all, the wind is whooping as it does. I try to keep the camera where you can hear me. What am I missing? Oh, I'm going to get around behind Mississippi. And guys, she just, she just looks miserable. She's 
gaping already. She has like three weeks to go. She's already got another bump going. <laughs> this makes me happy. Thank you to every single one of you guys who sent us vents. I mean, I can't. I get yelled at, especially by my good friend, KK, who <laughs> how did she put it eloquently? Shut up. <laughs> this is part of us helping you help feel like we're part of the herd. And it's more about us, it's more about the feeling we receive from giving to you guys than it is about you. So I struggle accepting gifts and I've talked about this before and which is why I didn't want to put the list out there but the, the farm list is always in the description down below. And for those of you who want to, that helps you feel good, that helps you feel like happy and it's blessing you to bless us it's there um, but yeah so thank you to everybody who sent the fence uh, we're wrapped all the way around now it's I ran it exactly where the old uh, five strand poly was uh, so it goes all the way down near the road and then cuts across up to the orchard and stops where the uh, hard farm fence stops so they have access clear down there as far as your eye can see. The road's there, so you can see how it goes that way, almost to the road. But I think they're gonna hang out over here for sure. Oh, sparkles. This is when you realize your five month pregnant goat, about ready to kid, is still a goat. When she just leaps the creek, <laughs> like no problem at all. So cool guys. Let me walk you around, I guess, and do a little zippy bit. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to come back here. I wanna put a bar here so that I can just grab it. And, Cause the creek's gonna flood, I tell you guys that, you know it every year. I wanna grab it and rip it up out of here and let this fence be able to swoosh down with the creek, let all that water pressure go by and then be able to come back after the flood and pull back up and just put the post down in there and get her done. Frosty mom, you're gonna squirt a baby out. Goodness. I'm gonna put a guardrail up on this for the babies. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. I always panic every year when they're crossing the, crossing the bridge. I love the sound of the goats crossing the bridge though. But I panic every year that the babies are gonna fall off into the creek. But to be honest, it's maybe two inches deep running right now which is pretty normal when it's just that it's just that regular flow it's probably yeah it might be three inches deep and they're eight inches tall so they're good looking a little redneck white trash right now but that's what i am so it's all good what i've done is i've taken the cattle panel like i did last year and the electric fence uh, clip so you run your electric wire through here so that it doesn't touch metal and I've just slipped the metal bar. Actually had to clip the clips right around the, the, the gate to make a gate. This is nine foot so I can get the truck through, I can get the tractor through, I can get the mower through. Uh, I'm gonna need some chains. So for now I'm just, I, want, I put it on the inside because they're gonna press on it. So when they press on it, it, it has resistance against the post. So for now, I'm just gonna use these clips until I can find a better something or another, or maybe I never will. So I have this gate here, and then clear down there on the corner, I have another gate. You see the gas line. So the gas company has to have access to that so that they can, I don't know, do whatever they do. He, guy comes out about once a month, stands down there with a meter. I don't know if they're doing a flow test. If y'all know, you can tell me. If you don't and you don't care, don't tell me. But I don't know if he's doing like a flow test. There's no actual meter to read or anything like that. So I don't know if they're just picking up on the amount of gas flowing through the line. But <laughs> whilst I got 
quite a bit of joy watching him jump the electric fence and try not to touch his tenders on the fence. I put a gate in there so he could just open the gate and go through and, and get to the get to the gas line. I'll do the rest of the tour tomorrow because I don't want to walk right down there. It's further than it looks, trust me. Oh, this does my heart good, guys. Thank you again so very, very much. Truly appreciated. And now we know the girls are 100% safe. Locked in, can't get through the fence. You guys remember towards the end of last year when I shot them out of here, uh, the babies were going through the fence because they're small and they can just zip right through. And then the moms were freaking out and they would go through the fence. Well, then the moms realized eventually that if they go through the fence fast enough, they can just zip right through. And then your fence is done. It worked, it worked great for a while. But at the end of the day, it was just a constant hassle and I never felt, I felt safe at the beginning. But towards the end of last year, I, did, I never felt safe with the girls being in here. And especially when we were going to shows and stuff. And I know my, my buddy up here got a hold of me and said, hey, your goats are out. I ran them in. I said, Thanks, man. Appreciate it. And then my neighbor over to the side here, he ran them in once for me. It's not cool to get that text when you're an hour, hour and a half away setting out a show. Hey, your goats are out. Like, what's going to happen in an hour and a half? So thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Hooking me up. Running the goats back in. Truly appreciated. And thank you guys again. I know I'm rambling. I don't do well with this kind of stuff. So thank you. I'll just say thank you and leave it at that. <laughs> next next quest is the is the side creek pasture. So gonna do the same thing as we did over here. We're gonna run hard fence all the way around that bad boy. And uh, they'll have two pastures that we can flip and rotate back and forth keep them off of the worm load and keep them in fresh grass. Fresh grass is the best grass, right? So we're walking through the pasture, newly open. Miss Cookie, doing Miss Cookie stuff, which is basically, <laughs> she's like a dog. She likes to follow. She's struggling, because if I stop, she'll stop. She gets torn whether or not to follow mama or me. Yeah, the whole herd's out. Babies are over there. They thought they wanted to come out, but then they ran back. He is the biggest sweetheart. What's that, big guy? He's living his best life. Look at him. He is. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you move so fast. No, that's what I'm saying. He like literally, <laughs> he, look, he looks happy. He looks happy. <laughs> yep. Which is great. All right, y'all. I know it's a bit windy. But again, I told you. Oh, hi, goats. Put in another gate down here for the gas man. And then I made two of these breakaway sections here. Just, just looped, looped the fence around the piece of pipe. Yeah, the fence is wobbly. I'm hoping that'll keep the girls from rubbing on it and or trying to get their feet up on it. We'll see. But when the floods come, and they will, I can just come over here and jerk this pipe out. And that'll allow this whole section of fence to wash downstream. It'll still be attached there, but this piece will wash out that way. Let the water through. That piece will wash out that way. And then the other pipe is right there. Pull that pipe out. And this whole section of fence right here will just wash downstream and just allow the water through. It'll get about, uh, on a good flood, you're looking at, see there's the top of the fence. You're probably looking at this height right here, somewhere around in here. So two and a half, three feet of water by probably 40 feet wide that rushes down through here, goes in that culvert. That is a five foot culvert pipe. So that's how we broke it down. I'm hoping it works just to be able to release the pressure off of the fence. Hi, Mr. Marlin. <laughs> love it, love it.